Hi, I'm Lynn Cody. I'm Eric Shulgai. Hi, my name is Tom Flint. Hi, I'm Derek Pierce. I teach middle school English. I've been teaching for the past 12 years. I am the school librarian. I've been at the high school for over a decade. And before that, I was at the elementary school um, in the library. I think the best part of the lessons so far um, in supporting the students is really the reflective piece. It gives kids the opportunity to really consider their own thoughts, their own values, and put those down on paper and really get a chance to express themselves before they are um, bombarded or maybe even you know skewed a little bit by other people's responses so I really love that ability for kids to reflect and then they they take a little bit of ownership about their beliefs and um, and a little open to other people's um, because they know it's not anyone's reflection or response directly to you but it's kind of like what you've already considered and I'm a huge fan of the go around structure. So once students have had a chance to reflect and write down and think about what they want to share, making sure that each and every student or participant in a dialogue, adults as well, uh, have a dedicated time for them to speak and for everyone else to listen. For a lot of students who are comfortable sharing in a conversation like this, that doesn't feel necessary. But for that student who's accustomed to just sitting quietly and listening to their peers, saying, this is your minute, this is your 90 seconds, this is your two minutes to share and no one else's, um, even if they sit there in silence, that's time reserved for them um, to make their voice heard. I'm a moving image educator who's based in Lincoln, Massachusetts, where I grew up, uh, just outside of Boston. And for the last several years, I've been running a program called Film Building, which meets at the crossroads of cross-cultural exchange and collaborative visual storytelling. I use film and in particular the collaborative filmmaking process to get youth and sometimes adults from different backgrounds to co-create um, short stories together. It's basically about um, having students from different parts of the world um, connect with each other online um, using Zoom and WeVideo, which is a cloud-based editing software, and um, encouraging students just to use their, their smartphones or any kind of simple recording device and work uh, within a theme, an open-ended theme, um, in these cross-cultural groups to um, basically go through this creative, collaborative, problem-solving exploration where they have to create a short film in a group based on their interpretation of the theme. I'm principal of Casco Bay High School in Portland, Maine. I helped start the school 18 years ago and was uh, principal and dean of faculty at another school before that, and so this is my 31st year in education. So Casco Bay High School, we have a process we call Courageous Conversations, whereby any student can propose that the school have a discussion in our advisory groups, nine through 12, about a particular topic that's of importance to them. Most recently, we've had conversations about um, neurodivergent learners, about our Hispanic community, about how to support those with um, mental illness in our community, how to make all feel more included and welcome is typically the theme. Students um, make proposals for conversations they think we could have. Again, we've had conversations on everything from economic disparities to issues of race, and gender, um, about technology use, about academic accountability. Um, our student government reviews those, reviews those proposals and decides which one is most important for our community to have. And then we have those discussions. We design them with the students who propose them and staff members who may have some expertise in the area. We train student facilitators to lead those conversations. And then we have that conversation school-wide, 14 students at a time with student-led facilitators um, going through the process, customizing it for their particular advisory group or age level. And it's been a great way for our students to learn about the issues that matter most to them and have the hard conversations that need to happen and that adults too often avoid. Um, so Courageous Conversations has been a structure that's been super important for us in developing empathy, in developing listening, in developing a sense that student voice really matters and that listening matters and is a key element to bridging divides among students and building understandings that can lead to greater connections in our community.
To find more opportunities to serve your community and bridge divides, visit conversation.us.